are you doing guys? This is Biraj and welcome to MNS Tectonic. LG doesn't necessarily make the most popular smartphones out there, but it sure does try. Take its 2016 flagship model, the LG V20 for instance. It's the first phone to come out with Android Nugget straight out of the box. It has two screens, three cameras, three microphones and a military grade chassis. And what's more, besides all that over engineering, well, these are the top 5 features that might just help the V20 outshine its competition. As it is now confirmed, the LG V20 is the first smartphone to run Android Nugget straight out of the box. So while most other devices will be receiving their update eventually, the V20 will already have Android 7.0 pre-installed with LG's own custom skin on top of it. The V20 will also have in-apps feature. It is Google's new app search feature that digs out information from within the apps installed in Android devices. V20's minimalistic chassis is made from high-grade aluminium. It is a high-strength lightweight aluminium used in military aircrafts and boats, which gives for a robust, durable build. It might sound a little over the top, but the V20 has actually passed the US military standard drop test and has received a military standard 810 grading for excellent drop and shock resistance. So, besides the daily wear and tear, it can also withstand extreme shocks and drops, thanks to the silicon polycarbonate protection at the top and bottom. Like its predecessor, the LG V10, the V22 comes with a smaller second screen in addition to the primary 5.7 Quad HD IPS Gorilla Glass 4 LCD display. The secondary display lies horizontally on the top of the bigger screen at the front and shows notifications and dedicated shortcuts for various apps and quick settings. The rear camera system consists of two separate cameras. One is a normal camera with 16 megapixel sensor, f1.8 aperture and a 75 degree field of view. While the other is a wide angle camera with 8 megapixel sensor, f2.4 aperture and 135 degree field of view. This system allows the V20 to capture three times as much area in a frame than a standard smartphone camera without losing details. The front shooter is a 5 megapixel compound camera with a f1.9 aperture and two built-in lenses. One with a 83 degree normal and the other with 120 degree wide viewing angle. And what this implies is even the selfies can be shot at a wider angle with the V20. The camera system in the V20 is not just for wide angle photography but also for smooth, jerk free 4K recording. And to go with that high fidelity video, the V20 captures an equally high quality audio through its three microphones. Thanks to its top notch audio hardware and features like low cut filter that eliminates background noise and the limiter that sets recording distance. The V20 also comes with a 32 bit Hi Fi Quad DAC, which is more common in high end devices for richer, more sublime headphone audio output. And on top of it all, the V20 can play all of the major lossless music formats like FLAC, DST, AIFF and ALAC, which you can either listen to it from its super loud but undistorted speaker or BNO's Bowplay H3 earphones. As for the video, LG has upgraded its steady record feature which facilitates electronic image stabilization with the help of V20 Snapdragon 820 processor and gyroscope. So. The 4K video comes out lag free and smooth and if you want more control over what you record, there is a ton of manual settings options in the camera app. Together, the superior audio and video recording capabilities make the V20 one of the most ideal smartphones for high quality professional video making. On top of these 5 big features, the LG V20 has everything that a 2016 flagship smartphone is expected to have. A stunning combination of Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor and Adreno 530 GPU. 64 GB of default internal storage expandable up to 2 TB with a micro SD card. 4 GB of RAM and a 3200 mAh removable battery that supports Quick Charge 3.0 through V20's USB-C port. Like I said, LG phones aren't necessarily the most preferred ones in the market. But with the V20, LG might be changing all that. 
because after a long time, LG finally seems to know what it's doing with its flagship phones. That's all for the show today guys. Thank you for watching I'm Mr. Tonic. And if you have any queries or suggestions, do drop me a comment down below or call us at these numbers. You can also catch me on Kantipur TV and Kantipur Gold. Also, don't forget to grab our print copy every Friday. Until next week, this is Biraj signing off.